according to the U.S. Iraqi forces, will try to take back Mosul from ISIL before the holy month of Ramadan starts in mid-June. U.S. officials say tens of thousands of Iraqi military and Kurdish fighters will be involved in the operation. ISIL has been in control of Iraq's second largest city since last June as they overran the town and sent hundreds of thousands fleeing. CCTV's Nathan King is in our Washington newsroom with more. Nathan. That's right, Elaine. The battle for Mosul is coming, but who will win is still far from certain. Last year, as ISIL fighters took this key city in Iraq's north, some half a million people fled. But a million remain, ruled by militants who are estimated to number just between 1 and 2,000. But they are well dug in. The plan, outlined by U.S. defense officials, would include airstrikes and involve up to 25,000 Iraqi and Kurdish troops. The assault to retake Mosul would also possibly begin in April or May, with the U.S. providing Iraqi forces with training and weapons. U.S. ground troops haven't been ruled out. But involvement would most likely be just a handful of advisers learning the lessons of the past. U.S. officials say they want Iraqi forces to take the lead when they are ready. We believe it is in the best interests of American national security for the Iraqi people uh, and their nation's military forces to fight for their own country. Uh, and we tried it a different way. We tried it in the previous administration uh, with, uh, you know, by deploying uh, you know, more than 100,000 uh, U.S. military personnel. Although the Iraqi army has had some successes in fighting ISIL recently, some military minds believe retaking Mosul will be a stretch. It is going to be a bloody street-by-street, street, house by house fight, and that's why all of the skeptics are looking at it and saying, this Iraqi army, uh, even the Peshmerga without massive uh, airstrikes, may not be up to it. And then there are the ethnic divisions. Mosul is populated by Sunnis, the Iraqi army dominated by Shiites and Kurdish forces. Mosul's million citizens may not welcome the Iraqi government back. There's a reason that, the, uh, that ISIS took Mosul so easily and everybody ran. You, you don't have a few thousand guys take a city of 1.5 million unless the people in the city are fundamentally alienated from the government, like they were from Baghdad. But U.S. officials claim ISIL is on the wane militarily and that the new Iraqi government is more inclusive and ready to address the grievances of its Sunni population. That is why perhaps the U.S. is announcing the assault plans in such detail. They're confident, but it is clear that ISIL won't give up without a fight. When the battle for Mosul comes, it will be a big test for Iraq and their government's ability to rebuild a fragmented nation. Elaine? All right, Nathan King 